force and acceleration. Here we have an object subjected to several forces. We have 2 plus 1 newtons acting down, which will be cancelled out by 3 newtons acting up. 2 newtons to the left will cancel 2 of the 4 newtons to the right. So the overall effect is as if we had just one 2 newton force to the right. This is called the resultant. A resultant force is one force that would have the same effect as all the forces acting on an object. Note that this is just a simplification. There is no such thing as an actual resultant force. It's just the combination of all the forces acting on the body. If the resultant force is zero, the body will remain at rest, or will continue to move in a straight line at a constant speed. It will have a constant velocity. Note that if you give both these options in an answer, and it's clear from the question that the object is moving, you'll not get the mark. It might say there's air resistance showing movement, or it might say something like a car moving along a road, and in which case if you say it will remain at rest or continue, you will not get the mark. If the resultant force is not zero, the body will accelerate in the direction of the resultant force. And if the body was moving in the opposite direction to the resultant force, this will cause it to slow down. The resultant force in newtons is given by the mass in kilograms multiplied by the acceleration in meters per second squared. We can write this as F equals MA. Here we have a car where the frictional force is the same as the driving force. It will travel at a constant speed. Now the frictional force is less than the driving force. This car will accelerate. And here the frictional force is greater than the driving force, so this car will slow down.